are watching BNS News. Today's headline: South Korean oil coin issuers arrested on 16.1 million dollars fraud charges. Immutable and Polygon join forces for 100 million dollars Web3 gaming fund. Russia introduces bill to apply money laundering controls to digital ruble transaction. Nigerian court orders Binance to disclose all user data. BlackRock launches new funds with securities hinting at move into tokenization. Paraswap evades hack targeting August this V6 contract vulnerability. Voltec announces beta testing for crypto services mobile application. Zbyte says decay launch igniting a new era in Web3 growth and mass adoptions for creatives. $670 million liquidated in crypto as traders await Fed guidance at FOMC. SEC delays decisions on hashtags NASDAQ and R21 shares with Ethereum ETFs. Treasury X accounts shield fake pre-sale tokens in a suspected hack. Bitcoin purchases in Argentina at 20 months high amid soaring inflation. A South Korean oil coin issuer has been arrested on fraud charges. Prosecutors in the country have accused him of depewing investors out of $16.1 million. By news, the Southern Seoul District Prosecutor's Office Virtual Asset Crime Joint Investigation Team arrested the unnamed individual on March 19th. Immutable is a blockchain development company and Polygon Labs, known for its significant contributions to the blockchain infrastructures, have announced a partnership to establish a $100 million fund dedicated to Web3 Gaming. This partnership is intended to spur the development of early stage gaming startups in the blockchain space, thus ensuring impressive growth in the emerging sector. A group of lawmakers in Russia introduced a bill that would extend money laundering controls to digital ruble transactions. The proposal, spearheaded by the chairman of the State Duma Committee on the Financial Market, Anatoly Exakov, establishes different responsibilities for platforms, participants, and the Central Bank of Russia, which is appointed as the main AML entity of the system. A Nigerian High Court has directed the operations of Binance Holdings to provide the Economic and Financial Crimes Commissions with comprehensive data and information relating to all personals from Nigeria who are trading on its platform. Investment management firm BlackRock is launching a new fund in collaborations with Securitize. As per a recent SEC filing, the fund registered in the British Virgin Islands operates a pooled investment fund. The structures allows investors to pool their funds together into a single portfolio, providing them with potentially higher returns. On March 18th, the Paraswap Augustus V6 contract went live, aiming to improve swapping efficiency and reduce gas fees. However, the contract contained a critical vulnerability, allowing hackers to drain funds when approved. Soon after discovery, the vulnerability on March 20, the Paraswap paused the V6 application programming interface and secured the potential victims' funds through a white hat hack. Voltec, an ecosystem for providing a range of crypto services, shared their excitement for their upcoming Vault mobile application. The crypto firms commenced singing up for beta testing listing, claiming that users can win 5,000 USDT upon singing. Zbyte, the trailblazing Web3 infrastructure platforms, announces the launch of its groundbreaking SDK, setting on new standards in the ease of the blockchain development and accelerating the growth of Web3 ecosystems. This SDK launch is a pivotal step in Zbyte's missions to democratize blockchain technology, making it accessible and practical for creators, entrepreneurs, and developers across the globe.